Good morning. Um, my name is Carolyn. I have a small catering business called Carolyn's Absolutely Fabulous Events. Um, one of the things I'm well known for, certainly in Darianne, is uh, scones. And I feel a little bit guilty because my scone recipe is really more of a biscuit recipe, an American biscuit recipe. There's no butter in it. There's only like three ingredients. So I want to share that with you today. It's super easy. And at this time when it's really hard to always get all the ingredients that you that you need or want this is also a fantastic base recipe that you can switch up and use it for all sorts of things so my original scone recipe came from a neighbor oh probably when i first arrived here my first year so what that's 19 years ago um since then i have seen it pop up everywhere but it is super simple it's got flour sugar and cream and that's kind of it so how you can switch it up is um, by adding, you can have it plain, you can have it with dried fruit, ra uh, raisins or sultanas. But then I discovered it also works really well with fresh fruit. So I quite often make blueberry scones. You can also then in the summer slice, actually all year round these days, slice strawberries. And I've discovered that even better, it makes it savoury scones. Sorry, I just had to stop there and go and fix my husband's breakfast. So where were we? So I was just saying how wonderful this was, even as a savoury recipe. I have um, discovered that if you take out the sugar, you can add something like cheddar cheese. And they make fabulous cheese scones, perfect for having with soup or sliced with a bit of ham and um, cheese inside them but you could even take it further than that. I was looking at something recently and someone was doing a um, bacon caramelized onion parsley and cheese scone, which I think sounds delicious. I haven't quite got there yet, but I think I'm heading in that direction. So the possibilities are endless. This is a base recipe and really you can switch it out. If you're doing savory, just don't put the sugar in. And also the sugar, I tend to really eyeball it that's kind of how i am anyway but if you're putting in say strawberries you probably need slightly less sugar if you're putting in something like blueberries yeah blueberries a little bit more sugar uh, the only thing i probably wouldn't use would be raspberries or black currants or bl sorry blackberries because they're, they're a little bit too soft and you're just going to end up with a kind of rather unpleasant purplish scone so i might um not try those fruits. In fact, saying that, my sister-in-law just made a date and banana scone recently. I think it was the same sort of base recipe. So just use your imagination and if you do come up with something really good, come back and tell me about it. The first thing you should do before you make the scones is turn your oven on to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees centigrade and heat it up and then line a baking tray with some parchment paper. We are going to take um, three cups of flour and that is about 450 grams of flour. I'm using plain or all purple flour here. Uh, if you're somewhere where you can get easily get hold of self-raising, then that's all you need to do. But if you just use the uh, plain flour, then what we're going to add to that is four and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to take uh, about a third of a cup of sugar, which is around about two and a half ounces, maybe 60 grams of sugar. To be honest, I just eyeball it most of the time and add that in. And then um, the final dry ingredient is if you're using fruit, um, dried fruit or fresh fruit, um, a couple of handfuls of that. Just throw that in really as much as you want. I tend to just eyeball that. And as I was saying, the sugar quantity will depend if you're using um, something that's quite sweet, you can add a little bit less sugar, but if it's something a little bit more tart, like blueberries, then possibly a little more sugar. So add that in and just combine that to mix the baking powder through and the sugar. And then the final thing we're going to do is add two cups of heavy cream, double cream, which is a pint or about 475 grams of cream and that's really all you do and obviously if you're making savoury scones at this stage 
you would not add the sugar, you just add the savoury ingredients. And then we're just going to mix this. Add a little flour to your um, surface here. And we're going to put this into three uh, three discs and then just cut that up and if you want to be very fancy you can weigh the discs it should be about 330 grams per disc and that way you can get um, a very very uniform scones I tend not to be too bothered about it but We just roughly divide it into three sections here. Just that out of the way. And then shape them into discs. And if you find that your mixture is a little dry when you're mixing it, um, you can add a little bit more cream, um, or if it looks very wet, a little bit more uh, flour. But this is the consistency that you're going for. You can see it's quite a pliable dough. And then we're just going to put these into three rounds, flatten them down, get them all about the same size. And then the last thing we just need to do is cut them. So just take a big knife. And Cut, turn, and uh, each of them into eight. And by all means, roll them and do them the old-fashioned way, but I find this is super easy. And I'm also finding that these work really well with gluten-free flour. And obviously for the sugar, you can change out regular sugar for coconut sugar or date sugar. So let me just put those on the tray. That's the scones already. And just so you can see, that's just the tidying up, which is fantastic. Just pull it together, throw it in the bin. Once they're out of the oven, and this was about 20 minutes, um, leave them to cool ever so slightly. You can transfer them to a, a wire cooling tray. But before you serve them, just dust them lightly with some confectioner sugar or icing sugar and serve them plain on their own. They're delicious. A little bit of butter and jam or best of all, find some clotted cream in Darien. That's Palmer's and Whole Foods, clotted cream and some strawberry or raspberry jam. Absolutely delicious.